Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's our annual musky adventure up on Lake of the Woods out of Grassy Narrows Lodge. Yeah. <laughs> These fish are all in our harbors. Close to 14 there. Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, late October, early November is a wonderful time to come up and fish beautiful Lake of the Woods. And my favorite spot to stay on Lake of the Woods is Grassy Narrows Lodge. What a beautiful piece of property. You wake up in the morning, folks, nothing around, a great sunrise. And we've got Christian Leitner with us now. This is our annual annual musky trip you i and pete and uh it's a lot of fun isn't it oh my gosh it's one of the highlights of my year john you know that and we're gonna try as hard as we can and fish as much as we can every day and we're gonna have a great time you know speaking of grassy narrows lodge that's been the place you stayed for years it's just such a comfortable neat place isn't it yeah wayne does a good job he keeps it up real good the food is delicious we had uh excellent prime rib last night we're gonna have turkey dinner tonight so we're all looking forward to dinner now how can you beat that you get great food great musky fishing and some beautiful scenery yes and you know the musky fishing's off the chart the only problem is we got to put up with Wes. He's in our boat today. I got to mention that, folks. Our guest today is Wes Paul, who caught two 50 inches in one day last year. Yes, and I think he got some mounts, and supposedly they're in his office somewhere, and you know, I gave him a jersey once, John, but it's still not up in the jersey in, yeah, the, in the office. Not a real appreciative guy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we? Yes. Hey, folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Folks, here's your chance to win a 2023 Wolverine X2 XTR from Yamaha. One lucky winner takes home this incredible machine. This side-by-side -side has maximum comfort, power steering, factory installed winch, and a full dump box. Enter today by going to GillespieFishing.com, click on the Wolverine X2 XTR Sweepstakes Banner. This Sweepstakes is brought to you by your Yamaha dealer and Fleet Farm. Meet Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. John, you, you've gotten to know me. I mean, I'm a really passionate person. Everyone on my staff is, everyone on my team is. Um, you know, we are passionate about what we do. Helping somebody out, uh, protecting them, doing everything we can to help tell their story, to make sure they're treated fairly with integrity and with respect, and get a fair resolution, whatever that is for the client. I mean, that's extremely important to us. That's really all that matters. Hey, welcome back, folks. As we talked about on beautiful Lake of the Woods up at Grassy Narrows Lodge. And Wes, you had the opportunity to fish with us uh, the last couple years up here. For people that want to get into musky fishing, what a great place, huh? It is an excellent opportunity to catch a musky. What happened to you last year? Um, caught two 50 inches in the same day. It was pretty pretty amazing. That's why you're in this boat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you. We'll have fun. Hey, Pete, one thing I want to ask, you know, we're showing the, the, the sucker rig, the quick strike rig right now, and, and that's going to be primarily uh, our best bait this trip. But I did want to ask you, Pete, when you're fishing these, uh, these lakes up here with the steep drop-offs, the steep rock areas, is that what you're looking for is, is, is deep break lines? Yeah, I like to I like to do stuff that's real steep, John, so I've got access to the deepest water and in a lot of cases there'll be a distinct hole in the same area. And it's always a patterning deal. You know, you talked also about lures. It's interesting, this time of the year, you can see a lure pattern as well. So what I like about spots like this too, is not only do I have access to the deep water and real sharp breaks, but we can also have someone literally landing in four or five feet of water too with a lure so we can check all of that. You know, once in a while, you'll get times where it's, it's just like some are casting on these rocks and they'll be shallower. 
and then you can pull everything in shallower too, reset your suckers or whatever you're doing. So yeah, just a matter of seeing what's going on and these spots allow you to do it all at once. And one nice thing too is what you're doing is you'll use your Minn Kota to kind of creep along and, and in and out and work the different depths. Yeah, yeah, boat positioning that way we can really hit the bottom if we need to and check everything on these sharp breaks. And with the quick strike rig, tell the folks you can set the hook. You absolutely must set the hook right away to save that fish. As soon as he's going away, you hammer him. Okay, folks, we're about a half hour into the day. We got our first sucker pickup. Can you feel him late? Not yet. Okay, now the key again here, Pete, is having that fish move away, right? Oh, yeah. Now, what are you going to do with the big motor, Pete? We don't know where the fish is moving, so I'm going to back up over the top of them. The motor so won't scare him? Well, we kind of want it to scare him. Oh, okay, because you want him moving away. Yeah. You got him! Got him, Christian! You got him, oh, buddy! Yeah. All right! You got oh, him, yeah. man! That was an awesome hook set, Leitner! Come on, Pete. All right. Well, you don't okay. exactly have him yet, do you? No. He's right here. He's right here. Is he a big one? He's right here. It's a nice one. Oh! Ooh. Oh, yeah! There's Ooh. a beautiful muskie to start our trip. Ooh. Oh, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> well, what happened there, Pete? What were you worried he about? He wasn't hooked. Okay. All right. Well, Leitner. He was just hanging on. You don't get them all, buddy, right? <sighs> hey, hey, you got him on there, Pete. Yeah, that was right away, huh? Here, yeah, pretty quick. Net, grab that net. Is it a good one, Pete? That feels decent. Okay, buddy. All right. Let's see here. <sighs> What's going on, Pete? I can't see. I'm trying to grab your net. Yeah, I see that. I see you're right on the netting. There we go. You might want to give it to Christian. Okay. Wes, get this. Get this out of the way. Sorry, Pete. I was trying to get your net there. Now, what's going on, man? <laughs> I'm fighting huh? a fish. Okay. You told me to take them, so I took them. Well, that was good. We get missed that, a couple earlier. Get that earlier. sucker out of the way. Okay. Giant, get that out of the way. Still haven't seen him, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, I had him right here, but. Let me grab that yeah. Thank you. Okay, He's here not he comes, huge, here he comes, a... here he comes. Yeah! Oh, there we go. Muscalonjo. Hey! Was that Jaws? That wasn't Jaws, no. no. We, we got to tell the folks. It's been a really long couple, four hours, right? <clears throat> oh, horrible, yeah. We actually had, uh, we had nothing to show for it other than one getting away on film, but five, we had, we did have five chances this morning, right. so. Could have been real good. Hopefully you catch one or two of those, but. Uh, and you talk about this time of year, you know, this late fall, you do get windows during the day, right? Generally, yeah. And what, what was real interesting about this fish sitting in the clam there is that we've been fishing deeper, anywhere from 28 to probably 22 is where we had the strikes this morning. And I decided to go across the top of a saddle and I was working up an edge on an inside turn from 20 to 12. Somewhere along the line, I had just picked that sucker up because we're going shallower up literally onto the rock bar. And that's where that fish was. Hey, Leitner, see, we made him take that one, right, buddy? Yeah, we had to catch a fish. Yep, and he is good at the hook set, isn't he? Yep. Oh, let's take a look. Now there, <sighs> folks, is a beautiful muskie, beautiful Lake of the Woods muskie. Yeah. You figure about 45 inches, Pete? 44, 45. 44, yeah. 45. What was unusual about that is you took that fish right away. There was no hesitation. That's, that's what you want. I got lucky. He was moving away pretty fast. You immediately want to take that opportunity. You know, we showed though how we rigged the, the sucker before, but you've got something on there that I've never seen before. What's that bullet deal there? Well, the bullet is uh, actually something we have always used, but this is something I tr just tried this year. This is actually one of the Livingston topwater bass baits called the Pro Sizzle. Not only does it have the EBS like we always talk about, but you see that lighting up? Oh, wow. It just did it there. So when this starts making noise, the tail also lights up. 
you know, you don't know for sure, but you know, it doesn't hurt and something different to try. And it's interesting, catfish guys have been using these ah. in line with their live bait systems. I can't really claim to, you know, take the idea for myself, but they, they used it with success, so I tried it. He's right underneath us now, buddy. Okay, do you feel him? Let me see. At all? There he is, Pete. I got him, Pete. I got him, Pete. Wasn't the greatest hook Pete. set, but I got him, buddy. I got him, buddy. Okay, Pete. Come on, get some into the well, net. I got, guys. I got the net. Okay. Put some pressure I on I am. I am. Whoa, this feels like a big boy. This feels like a big boy, Pete. Okay. All right, but whoa, buddy. I'll thumb him here, okay? What is you got the drag loose? I thumb, I'm thumbing them. Keep it tight. Uh, okay. I want it tight. All right. Okay. Here. Oh. oh. Is it? Oh. He just let. Yeah, you never hooked him, dude. That was a horrible hook set. Was it a horrible hook set? Yeah. That was it. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $200 on the Lawrence Hook Reveal Triple Shot Fish Locator on sale for $399.99. We are fishing Lake of the Woods out of Grassy Narrows Lodge, a 10-hour drive from Milwaukee, 11 hours from Chicago, and five and a half hours from Minneapolis. This fight is between you and the fish. The lake may get unruly, but our motors quiet the noise. And now that the best trolling motors ever made are even better, we'll lead the charge. So you can focus on getting them to bite whenever and wherever the fight takes you. With Minn Kota, you're free to fish on any front. Folks, you, you see us talking about the Johnson Pump washdown kit every week. On a charter boat, pontoon boat, any boat, it's really a great thing to have. Now, you guys get a lot of blood on your hands, we so do. what do you do? John, this washdown pump right here that Johnson just spray it right off. And obviously, you got quite a bit of blood on the back deck, and this thing will take care of it. So you actually use it while we're out here fishing so the customers don't get blood and everything on them. Exactly. And again, that's the Johnson Pump washdown kit. You yep. love it? Love it. Eagle Claw, the pick of the week. The Eagle Claw fillet knife is one of the sharpest knives and one of the best in the market. Eagle Claw, the only hook made right here in the USA. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, day two of our musky adventure up at Grassy Narrows on Lake of the Woods. We were one for five yesterday. We had five bites, caught one musky. But what I got to talk to no, you... No, that would be one for six. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, one for six. But We, I, we started zero for five. All right. <laughs> what I got to talk to you about, though, is the beautiful weather forecast that we have for today and tomorrow. We have 100% chance of rain and snow today. Yeah. This is duck weather, John. We should be going to North Dakota duck hunting. This would be perfect. But look at this guy, fishing with suckers, putting live bait on, no gloves. I'm so proud of him, you know that? But uh, tonight we're supposed to get six inches of snow too, so we'll have snow all over the boat tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be interesting. Uh, we might have to start our day with shovels, John. Hey, you got any? Yeah, no, I don't, but good question for you. Uh, is this decent weather to get a bite though? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, this should be good. And the wind's not bad, you know, if we had a 30 mile an hour wind I'd be a little more upset but the boat control should be fine and the front coming in finally but the water temps are not significantly dropping but they should start now I'd love to see it get below 50 we still Looks got really well we got one and a half Leitner's but... first on the hook set today yeah okay is it moving away which way is it not yet okay you got to have these fish moving away folks to get the hook set Okay, Leitner. All right, buddy. Best feeling yeah, in all of fishing drop, is set the rod and set. Snapper, snapper. Yes. Huh? Got him, Leitner. You got him, buddy? I think I got it. All right, man. Get that net ready, Pete. Okay. Comes up. All right. <laughs> that, he must be coming that. at you here. I think. Is it a good one, Pete? I haven't seen him yet. I saw it. All right, all right, guys. 
Ooh, I don't think I see the sucker. Which okay. Be good news. That's good news. He broke off. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, Leitner. Ooh, another run, another run. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, that's a beautiful fish, guys. Oh, that's sorry. a big musky, guys. I can't Look get at the size of that musky. It's, it's seven feet away from the boat. Oh, come on, Leitner. <laughs> oh, get him in there. there nice go. job, <laughs> Christian Leitner. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Out, hey, Leitner, turn around, buddy. <laughs> I'll tell you, buddy. Did you, you know, you get up this morning and you see it's going to be 36 degrees and raining all day, but you got your butt out of bed and you got out here. <laughs> You, you got to go out and go fishing when you're on the Lake of the Woods. And yesterday, I had two or three swings, and we were using really big suckers, and I couldn't get the hook in the mouth. But today, we did it. How was his hook set? That was good hook set there. Yeah. And we, we knew the fish was moving away, so well, yeah, you got to... You, you know, we should talk about it, though. It's the more important, it's always important, excuse me, to have snap in that hook set. You want to know the fish is moving away, drop the rod, create a little slack, and bang like that. And that was the mistake I made yesterday. Let's take a look at Christian's replay of that hook set. So you, we're showing the snap now, so explain it. Yeah, you want to know where it's going. You actually let the rod load up a little bit, but up higher, and then drop and then snap. Get a lot of snap in that hook set. That's way more important than a hard pull. You got to break the nose release out and you got to break those stinger hooks out in order to get things done. So After doing this for 45 years, you still get excited, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah, it is fun. Nothing quite light and so does he. I love it. He, he's like a kind of big kid. When yeah, he, he really one. is, yeah. you know? The musky fishing's fun. Look at Christian oh, yeah. Leitner holding the big old musky there, Christian. That is gorgeous. And I'll tell you what, folks, because Christian is like eight feet tall, the fish will look a little bit smaller in his hands. That, but That is bigger than what, or smaller than it appears. How That's big is that fish, Pete? That's a 45. 45. 45? Yeah. Christian, congratulations, my Thank friend. You. Always fun to watch you set the hook. You know that? Beautiful fish. Thank yes, you. there you go. It's football season, and if you're looking for a quick and easy hors d'oeuvre, I got the thing for you. It's the Johnsonville Rope Sausage. It's pre-cooked, made with 100% premium pork. All you have to do is cook it on the pan until it's golden brown, and you can serve it with your favorite dipping sauce. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that is so good. Johnsonville Rope Sausage. Find it at your favorite retailer today. Still there? Keep going under. Keep going okay, go slack and then set back this way. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him, hit him. <laughs> got him, you got him. Yeah. Rod down real, real. Good real, job, real, good real, job. Real, keep reeling, gosh. keep reeling. Oh, no. Good he's, hook set, too, buddy. Good hook it. set, Kurt. Oh, be a big one. Right, oh, yeah. Easy, Look at that easy. battle. Back, back off the bridge. Look at that battle, off. man. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> I haven't seen the fish, Pete. No, I haven't either. Holy cow. It took a nice run there, too. He scared me because he come up at first. Yeah. Right after the hook set, like, right? Holy cow. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Rod down that way. Okay, okay. Kurt. Keep him coming, buddy. There we go. Okay, here he is. Not here a monster, he is. But a nice one. Oh, nice him. job, Kurt. All right, nice buddy. Nice done, Kurt. So, Kurt, turn to the camera here. You tell, got tell us about the hook Leitner. set there, buddy. Fish. Fish. He's fish. got a he's We got, got another fish. fish on. Leitner, hurry. Leitner, get back there. Seriously, Pete? Yeah. Seriously, Pete? Yep. Okay, guys. We could get a double header here. We could get a double header here. Oh, please, late. He tell me when. Uh, okay. I don't know. I can't. Is he moving? Yeah, go. hit him. Hit him. Oh, you got him, Leitner. You got him, buddy. You got him, buddy. Double header muskies. This is impressive. Oh, he's already up here, guys. Oh, he's, he's already a, up here. He's a little guy. I'll relax with okay, him. Okay, Leitner. Okay. Just he's not too big, so you can no. just let him just lay there for a minute. We'll get this okay. undone. Hey, Leitner. Seriously. <laughs> Two hours and nothing in double header. Yeah, we found some nice current, and Pete got up in a little neck down area, and we got. 
<laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Pete, that doesn't happen too often. Doubleheader muskies. And look at the size of Leitner's muskie there. Now, that is impressive. Now, seriously, that, folks, is a rarity. And, Kurt, how was that hook set? Was that fun? Hook set was great. Uh, you just give her all you got. As uh, soon as I was getting mine in, Pete yelled out, another fish on. And uh, first I thought, get her back in. Ay, ay, ay. How could it get any better than that? Hold them up, and then we'll release them. Yeah, beautiful that, fish. That's right actually there. a real nice one. That there. is a very that's nice a, musky. Good dandy. job there, Kurt. Thank you, everybody. Folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2023 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Ron Campa of Muskego, Wisconsin, caught this 15 inch perch on Plummer Lake using a minnow. Dave Radke of Loves Park, Illinois, caught this 10-inch bluegill on Big Green Lake using a worm. Greg Warfield of Savage, Minnesota, caught this 22-inch smallmouth bass on Roy Lake using a Kalen scrub. Michelle Hefty of Brandon, Minnesota, caught this 52-inch muskie on Lake of the Woods using a jig and minnow. And this week's first kid winner is Brock Berglud of Winnicani, Wisconsin, caught this 39-inch northern on Wolf River using a little Cleo. And Barrett Willie of Galena, Illinois, caught this 20-inch smallmouth bass on the Chippewa River using a wacky worm. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $30 on the Vexlar Gens Pack Fish Locator with Ice Deucer on sale for $279.99 and save $100 in the Clam C560 Thermal Hub Ice Fishing Shelter on sale for $349.99. Standing here by a boat with Len Groom from Amsoil, and Len, this HP Marine two-stroke oil, one thing I noticed when I switched, smoke smell went away right away. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Two-stroke oils are not all created equal, and when you talk about HP Marine, it is built specifically for use in the water. The temperatures are cooler, the engine doesn't get as hot. You have to formulate for that to make sure that you're not going to get deposits, right? And deposits create all kinds of problems from horsepower loss to smoke and those kinds of things. So you have to make sure that you have all that under control. It's been built specifically, like I said, for the water. Check out the marine products at amsoil.com. You get there? Uh, I think he's moving away, probably. Well, okay. Well, maybe not. Again, folks, trying to get on top of that fish. All right, stop, stop, stop. Okay. You got him, all right. Nice hook sit there, Pete. Good job, buddy. Let's get that net there ready, Leitner. All right, Pete. All yeah. right, buddy. Oh, man, this is cool. Have you seen him, Pete? Nope. Okay. What do you think, Leit? Eh, he can't be tiny. What do you think, Leitner? I want to see it. Well, I do too. We're going to see it right here. Oh, oh that's oh. a beautiful fish, Pete. Nice one. That is a beautiful fish, Pete. Well, it's not a monster, but oh, I'm enjoying it. one of the day, man. He that was a fun away. hook set. All right. Ooh. Oh. Get your sucker out of the way, John. He's doing a little more dancing. All right, Lates, let's get him in there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep. Yeah, nice get in done, there. Guys. <laughs> Stay All in right. the bag. Stay in the bag. <laughs> Good job there, Pete. That was pretty cool. You know that was. And I don't know how and fast you, you want me to there. back up. You know, I. It's kind of hard because I'm looking there and. Well, uh, you know, yeah, fast as you can, yeah, but then you kind of got to stop there. Yeah, we did mark that uh, fish right before that happened. Yeah, we did. On and duty. What was really interesting, that was the bobber sucker, and I I happened to be looking back. We're all chatting here, and I and this bobber just goes down a little bit and then a little off to the side. I'm like, no lines going out or anything, and I thought, that ah, might be one. Don't you love setting the hook, dude? I mean, it is fun. Yeah, it is fun. 
Come on. I'll tell you what, folks, 36 degrees and an all day rain, that certainly warms you up, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. As a matter Makes of fact, it all seem a lot smarter. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> actually, seriously, Pete, want to give Ryan, the photographer, a little credit. This is pretty tough filming in these conditions. Oh, yeah. And keeping his camera going and, you it know. It is. It's a cameraman's nightmare, actually. But so, congratulations, let's Ryan. Get this You're guy part of going. That fish. Nice job, though, buddy. See you, bud. Good job, man. Yeah, that was fun. That was Thanks fun. for letting me take a sucker, John. Hey, Ryan, how you doing in this weather? I love it. Seriously? Yeah, it's great. Who wants to see sunshine when you can have this? How hard is this on your equipment, though, really? I'll find out when I get in, but hope, hope there's a little bit of water on there. But seriously, you can have problems with fogged up lenses and all of that, right? Yeah, it definitely adds some variables. Well, hey, everybody, yay for Ryan! Yay! Way to go, Ryan! Yay! Yay! Hey! How do you like my new suit? Well, I've heard about them, John, but I haven't tried it yet. I got last year's suit. Do you like it? I do. This is the Delta suit, and it's part of the new Ice Ops line by Clam. The Delta suit is soft, durable, and completely waterproof. It has flotation and a long nap fleece liner. And you know, folks, we've tested the motion float technology over the years. It really works. Whoa! 40 degree water temps. Hey, look at that. How you doing down there? Look at that. There we go. Let's see how these float suits work. Oh, they're working. They're working. They're both float. They're both float. Let's see how these things float here. Okay, there goes Josh. There goes Acorn. Hey, look at that. How is that? It's cold, but it floats. It's cold, but it floats. And the cool thing is about the Ice Ops line that a percentage of sales goes to Folds of Honor, which helps families of wounded and killed in action veterans. For more information on fishing Lake of the Woods, call Grassy Narrows Lodge. That phone number is 800-589-2214. 589-2214. Oh my gosh, look at the head on that. And look at that mouthful of weed. Look at that pike. Are you having fun with the tip oh, Having a great time. Love Beaver Dan. Oh, look at that, Blake. Holy cow. Look at that pike, Blake. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this pike. That is a trophy pike right there, pal. Oh, oh, oh man, is that, that gorgeous. Look at this guy, folks. This is a beauty. Oh, wait till you see the tummy on Look this guy. Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. How does a hot Johnsonville sound? Good, good. You've been shivering for the last hour and a half. So. Yeah, that's all right. We got tomorrow. We better Yay. take it, man. Oh, gosh, I even got a hug. I hate hugs. I know.